guys, how you guys doing? It's your boy Brian Ash, aka Handsome Fister. And I'm here to talk about your very own piss poor Detroit Lions. Who got curb stomped by a rookie quarterback on Monday Night Football in front of the whole nation. Whose fault is it? Is it Jim Bob Cooter's fault? Nah. I don't know. Maybe. Is it Matt Patricia's fault in the the rough preseason that they had? Was he working them too hard? I don't know. I mean, I, I guess time will tell. It's week one of the NFL. And I hate week one of the NFL because you get a, a bunch of guys who look like superstars. Week one of the NFL, and then by midseason, you're like, who? Or you'll get like a a guy like Matt Stafford who throws 17 interceptions week one, and then that's the last interception he throws the whole year. Like, you really can't tell week one of the NFL. Kind of like what I was said in my last week's vlog about NFL week one being the worst week of NFL. Yes. But here we go. Week two. What do I think the Lions are going to do week two? I think Jimmy Garoppolo is going to throw all over that piss poor defense. Or the running back. I mean, who is San Francisco's running back? I bet he has 100 yards today. Without a doubt. In my mind, I bet that dude has 100 yards today because the Lions defense, they passed on Khalil Mack. Like, it, Chicago stole him. Chicago stole Khalil Mack from the AFC West and brought him to the NFC. Come on. And it could have been the Detroit Lions. Could have been the Lions. But no. And then, no. And then you had the Green Bay Packers come back and beat the Chicago Bears. Like, how did that happen? One, two, Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers came back from the depths of an injury that looked pretty bad where he didn't even practice all week for week two, came back on one knee, and they let him sit in the pocket and pick him apart instead of... You, Aaron Rodgers is the greatest running out of the pocket, throwing touchdowns. No one's even close to him since he started since he started his first NFL game. Not even close to running out. But he's hobbled. He's on one leg. Why would you let him sit in the pocket and throw it down the field? Like I would have had to him run. Because Khalil Max faster. You know, Ro Roquan Smith is faster. I would have put a bunch of speed in there. I would have had him running for his life. But anyway, that was week one. Week two of the NFL, you have the Lions playing the San Francisco 49ers. And I believe the Lions will, by the end of the day, be 0-2 today. Like, it's going to be disgusting what happens this afternoon at 4.30 Eastern Standard Time. Like, I'm down here making a video because I, pff, NFL week two, week one, um, there's probably going to be some exciting stuff happening, but not really. Like, I'm really more into NCAA, which I'll get to in a minute. But my prediction is that the Lions leave 0-2 today. Yes, you said it. I heard, said it here at 1246 Eastern Standard Time that the Lions – We'll be 0-2 by the end of the day. And everyone's going to be going, but they'll still buy tickets. No accountability. Like, I... I, I gave up on the Lions in 1991 when they went to the NFC Championship game and got blown out by the Washington Redskins. I think I was like eight or nine. And I gave up. Kim Colts fan. But then when the Colts won a Super Bowl with Peyton Manning, and then they drafted Andrew Luck, and I was pissed that they got rid of Peyton Manning. Like, I don't care. Like, they should have let him. You can draft Andrew Luck. 
and let him sit behind Peyton Manning for a couple years. Like, you could have did that. So I, when that happened, I came back to Detroit. Like, yeah, go ahead. Say what you want in the comments. Oh, my God, you're a bandwagon. You're not a real fan. Eh, yeah, but you come to Detroit and live with this shit for 36 years. And try and tell me that you wouldn't have, like, a 1B team. Come on. It's disgusting. Lions are disgusting. And then I jumped off the bandwagon again when they gave Matt Millen an extension. Why? Why, Martha Ford? Why? He drafted a wide receiver like 27 times in, in a row. Like, dude, really? Really? No depth. We don't have depth. No depth on the roster. And then and then I was like, all right, cool, they got rid of him. And then they they brought the scout from the New England Patriots, Bob Quinn, made him a general manager. Cool. Came from New England. And then he hired Matt Patricia, which everyone I was I was one of them was like, yes. Yes. New England Patriots. New England Patriots, he won with them. He went to Super Bowls with them. You know, he, he knows how to win. He's got a winning pedigree. Yes. And then the, it's game one. I'm not saying that that was a bad move. I'm not saying Bob Quinn failed miserably. But what I am saying is that we were 9-7 last year. Just missed the playoffs. 9-7. And I think the Lions, at best, will be 5-11. and 11. Granted, they have one of the toughest schedules in the NFL this year per all of the, you know, top NFL gurus talking about they have one of the toughest schedules in the National Football League. So that being said, 5-11 um, and 11 would be, at best, good. But... If you look at the drafts in the last couple of years with Bob Quinn, both of the second rounders haven't done anything, haven't played, and Jared Davis is looking rough. Like he plays really good against the run, but he cannot cover wide receivers, and he overruns plays, and you know he's too aggressive. Like how defense being too aggressive? We were talking about that at breakfast. But yes, you can be too aggressive on the defense, over pursuing plays. Let's go. Let's get let's get back into college football for a second. We got very, 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 very lucky with Michigan State having a bye week, because I would have loved to have talked about how they played like shit and whoever they played, but they didn't play, so that didn't happen because they had a rough couple first first couple weeks. They looked bad. They looked bad. Against some poor teams. But Michigan, they look bad against some poor teams. They look really bad. They played SMU yesterday. SMU. SMU. They should have beat them by like 40. It is what it is. That's, that's true stuff. I mean, they played a freshman quarterback the second half. And it was because he was being able, he was moving the offense against your number one, well, top 10 defense in, in the nation. And then the offense didn't look too much better. They didn't look bad. They didn't look great. They didn't look spectacular. And then Notre Dame barely beats Vanderbilt. And that was like your signature loss so far this year. Oh, well, at least we played Notre Dame. Notre Dame's a great team. Yeah, they barely beat Bandy. And you're going to try and tell me they're a great team? Come on. Come on. Notre Dame's not a great team. They're not a bad team, but they're not a great team. Michigan, Notre Dame, Florida State, Florida, they are all overhyped in the beginning of the season. Every year, they are always overhyped. Always. You got Alabama. Dropping a hundred on fucking Ole Miss yesterday, basically. They, 
Their second team was in by halftime. Alabama's. That's a football team. Clemson does the same stuff. Clemson's a football team. Alabama's a football team. They're solid football teams. And I'm sitting here, you know, I bleed maize and blue. And yeah, they won by 25, but it was SMU. Quit playing down to the competition and truck somebody for a change, please, for me. You know, and, and the Big Ten looked bad all yesterday. Nebraska losing, Illinois losing. Like, can the Big Ten do what they're supposed to do? Like, this is starting to look like the most overrated conference in the NCAA in college football. The most overrated conference. Like, how is that possible? Like, you have Ohio State and then the rest of them. In Ohio State, we try it. You know, everyone tried to get rid of Urban Meyer, and they're still trucking teams. They truck TCU, who last week trucked SMU. Come on. Let's go, boys. Let's think logically. What are we going to do as Michigan fans, Michigan State fans, Big Ten fans to, to make it better? Like, it was fucked up. Like, I was actually rooting for Ohio State because of how bad the Big Ten did yesterday. I wasn't rooting for Ohio State. I wanted them to lose, but I was like, oh, I wasn't mad that they that they won. Because if they would have lost, and that would have been like half the conference losing and only one of them losing to a good team. Now, what say you? What do you guys think about the NFL, college football, in the comments section below? Subscribe to the channel if you like my football content. Subscribe to the channel if you like my hip-hop content. Subscribe to the channel if you like my personal comment. Subscribe to the channel if you like my beer. If you think I'm funny. Whatever. Just subscribe, man. Help me out. Help a brother out. Help me do me. You know what I'm saying? And comment if you want me to bring up a team of yours. If you want me to talk MSU, comment. If you want me to talk about Ohio State, comment. You won't like it, but comment. Let's go, boys. Let's get back to it, huh? Let's fuck a beard as weird. Tough talk from a rapper paying leads for security.